check this out. We got our own little aerator pump. We'll show you in a bit, but we drilled a hole. I've got a little air stone down there. I'm gonna use a mackerel. My mackerel's going nuts. Maybe just a rockfish? Something, ooh. Oh, it's a ling. It's a legal ling. Good morning. <laughs> Salutations. Uh -huh. Hey Bob, what's the what's the game plan today? Macro fishing. <laughs> At its finest. <laughs> Can we catch a couple of anchovies too, please? We'd like to go catch some anchovies. Have a nice anchovy dinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How would you cook that with some Anchor. soy sauce? And... Oh, fried, fried anchovy. Fried anchovy with white rice. All right, per usual, let's go get some bait. Step number one, tie on the speakies and uh, get some bait and then uh, check this out. We got our own little aerator pump. We'll show you in a bit, but we drilled a hole. I've got a little air stone down there. That should keep bait pretty fresh for uh, a long time. Live bait, baby. All to catch the elusive Pacific mackerel. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, we're tar. We're we're gonna smash mackerel and we're planning on uh, getting Spanish some halibut. Mackerel. Spanish mackerel. Spanish mackerel. That's right. That's right. Pacific mackerel are much larger and blue. Oh, uh, green. True. Spanish mackerel it is. Uh, but uh, the reason for this is because uh, that halibut is still haunting my dreams. Nightmares, really. The one from a couple from last couple videos ago. So if you haven't checked that out, check that out after this. But. Hopefully we can get on them. We got some really good intel. So, we'll catch you on the GoPro mount. We just need to get into a little school of them. All right, so, so far, 10 minutes. Approximately trying to get some bait. Nothing yet, but hopefully very soon we'll just get on a whole school of them. All right, we're getting some bait. Lost it? All right, that's fine. Dad got one. Smell. He's just gonna take precious oxygen from the other fish. Get rid of them later. I don't know what you would do with them. Too big for halibut. Are we gonna keep it to eat or what? You can do that smelt, Dad. I would do the bottom one. I would probably do the bottom one. Not. Those are big. I know, what are you gonna do with that, Dad? Those walleye. I decided I will just go ahead and get behind the wheel and drive around while looking at the fish finder while Bob and Dad search for bait fish. If they caught one, I ended up casting as well. As long as they were even smaller, but they're not. Not the targeted species. First piece of bait. Yes. Uh, kind of mid, probably bottom third. There you go, perfect. Need more. Yeah, so just as an update, it's uh, been a little bit tough finding bait right now. We've been kind of zigzagging around and then uh, Dad had the idea of going to the Cal Poly Pier and seeing if we can hook up on a few. And I came over a ball, stopped everything, made a cast, and we were able to get that one mackerel, which is good size. So if we can find a school of those, catch about 20 of them, we'll be able to head out and throw them on bait rigs for some halibut. All right. Do you need a heavier weight too, Dad? Look at that. They're all tangled. All right. We're on a, we're on a good amount of bait now. Hell yeah. We were spending a lot of time doing this. All right. Now we're starting to get some croaker. We're getting some croaker. Smaller size croaker. Dad, can you open that? I got it. Oh. Kobe. Woo! Hole in one. Okay, we didn't catch enough bait. We caught probably a dozen or a little bit less, but we figure we'll start working our way to the halibut area, but we'll see if we could mark bait while we're on the way. But it's cutting into 
precious soaking time right now. We've been looking for bait for like two hours. And just a dozen. Half a dozen. Thank you, sir. Yeah, realistically, we only have a half a dozen like good usable bait. All right, about to make our first drop. Let's pick some good bait. There's our bait tank. It's doing really good. Sick. Very nice. Oh, our uh, our sardine is dead. All of them? Yeah. We only really had one. But I'm gonna use a mackerel. I thought there was three sardines. Nope. This mackerel is going down. All right, there it goes. There's my mackerel. Send them down. So what we're doing here is called drifting. We're basically letting the wind take our boat as our baits are making constant contact with the bottom with our live bait. And hopefully we drift over a halibut no, this is and prime. they take it. This is prime where it's just a waiting game. 64 feet, drifting about a mile an hour. Halibut like being around a little bit of strong. What happened? Oh. Rockfish tried to grab his sardine. All right. My mackerel's going nuts. Maybe just a rockfish? Something. Oh. Oh, it's a ling. It's a legal ling. Is it? I think so. No, I think he's, he, he's secure. Definitely secure. Look at that ling. Woo! Measure him. Oh, he's definitely 22. All right, not going home empty handed. Are you sure he's 22? He's 22, for sure. All day long. Well, very nice. No, that was a mackerel. Oh, it was a mackerel? Yeah. All right, <laughs> legal ling on board. This is cool. He wanted my mackerel, huh? That's what's up, guys. Yeah, that definitely wasn't the targeted species, but it's good, good bycatch. All right, guys, so we are switching up the game plan. Uh, our biggest thing that hurt us was not being able to get bait right away first thing in the morning. Would have been nice to get bait in the first 30 minutes or so and then head out here, but uh, we didn't even get that much bait. We ended up getting maybe three mackerel, two sardines, and some perch, and. Uh, probably four croaker and that just wasn't enough to get it done today if we had like you know 10 ancho I mean 10 sardines 10 mackerel we would have been set and we would have been out here drifting better live bait but it's already 10 o'clock so it's probably a good idea after catching that link cod to maybe target some rockfish use the anchovies that we got and uh, hopefully bag a quick limit and then head out all right croaker I'm gonna set you free, buddy. <laughs> Using what? Anchovy? So off we go to a more rocky bottomed area. That's right. Oh. Yeah. Little rockfish, all right. Another link? All right, Bob, what you got? Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, solid. That's a bad. That's a fatty, bro. Yeah, I think so. Let's see this goes away though. That's a big one. That's a big one.
Yep. 23 inches. Keeper. Okay, buddy. Hold them up. Open the box. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got a good little school. I might just drop down instead of tying, but. I would just drop down. All right. Let's go. Solid. Real solid. Two wings on board. Resilience. That's good. It looks good. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's nice. Another nice red. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah. Come on. See ah ah. Give your mom. Good job. Well, definitely put some fish in the boat in the last hour. Plan A didn't go as well, plan B didn't as well. So this is uh, plan C and uh, did pretty darn good. What in the world is this? Is this a gumboot chitin? <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a parasite, bro. It comes out of the gills of the- I don't know, dude. It's- It's, it's, a, par it's a parasite. It comes no, look. The, it comes, there in the gills of the- But it doesn't have those little hooks. Huh? Guys, what is this? It's a parasite, bro. No, it looks like a chitin. It doesn't have those little hooks like most of them do. Alright, if you guys know what this is, let me know. It's an alien. What is this? Well, you never let the little uh, live perch go, huh? Are you gonna eat them now? Oh, shoot. That's okay. Yeah, they're still in the bait tank. We didn't. Yeah. We didn't even turn off the bait tank, huh? I, 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 I think your dad turned oh, it off. Oh, the bubbler is off. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, check this out, guys. Look at this. Our bait tank worked so good that the fish are still alive by the time we got home. We left. It, we left it in the boat, and they're all still alive. All right, we're off the water now. And uh, what is there to say other than plans didn't go as planned? Plan A was to get bait really quick. That turned into a two-hour ordeal. <laughs> not necessary. Ordeal is not the right word. It was a trying to find a needle in a haystack. That's that's what it was. We ended up picking off probably three mackerel, two or three sardines, uh, some croaker, and a giant smelt. And we were just going all over the bay, couldn't find them. And then we finally got on a little school, but anyway. Oh, we got a little bit of perch. Dad brought up three and one on the speaky. That was pretty interesting. And then we tried uh, a spot for some halibut and we uh, drifted. Then we decided to go get some uh, rockfish, but we kind of went and did a little bit more trolling, then went straight for the rockfish and ultimately it was pretty good. Speaking of rockfish, don't forget, um, there's about nine spots left. Probably by the time this video goes out, it's probably gonna have like three or four spots left before our hook to cook uh, deep sea fishing trip. It's basically, we're all booking uh, on the same charter so that we can all have some fun catching some link cod and rock cod. It'll be a full day. Uh, also, thank you for um, bringing the community to 3,000 subs. That's pretty cool. So just thank you for that. That's all that needs to be said about that. But uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get home. Right, Bob? Sounds good, buddy. Got him on the swim bait. Got him on the swim bait. All right, all right. Yes, sir. Cool. Dad? Yep. It was good? At least we got something. At least we got something. That's right.
and then pray. Let's pray. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> mm. <Okay. laughs> so good. All over mm. your beardy. Huh? Mm. Smile, see? If it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. No, what is that? Mm. Look at that right there. Ew. <laughs> Mmm. Put some like green sauce on you. Mmm. Stunkiness. So good. So good. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thank you for joining. We'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye.